Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to the video for Wuthering Waves. My name is Vinis SGN. So this is a Mortefi build quick guide. Mortefi is a fusion element sub DPS off screen damage dealer that can be built a few different ways depending on how you want to use him when it comes to his echo sets. I'm going to show you four main ones that work really well on him. The first is a full five piece moonlit cloud set with the impermanent Terran as the main four point echo. The impermanent Terran deals havoc damage and when the attack hits a target it restores the current character's resonant energy and increases the damage of the next character that you switch to. Using this set gives Mortefi 10% extra energy regen and when you use his outro skill he increases the attack of the next character you switch to by 22.5% for 15 seconds which combines with Mortefi's own natural outro skill to give a 38% heavy attack damage deepen for 14 seconds. This is further increased if you use the impermanent Terran skill as well. So basically with this set, bring Mortefi on, build up his outro skill, use the echo skill, use his ultimate attack, and then immediately switch to your main DPS and spam heavy attacks for a large increase in damage. The next best set for Mortefi is going to be a hybrid set, which is what I run for my team when I use Mortefi. It's going to be a two-piece Moonlit Cloud set with a two-piece Molten Rift set with the Impermanent Terran as the main echo. This gives Mortefi bonus fusion damage as well as energy regeneration. The third set is going to be a two-piece Moonlit Cloud set for the 10% energy regen and then two-piece Lingering Tunes. The Lingering Tunes two-piece set gives Mortefi an extra 10% bonus to his attack. Here again, use the Impermanent Heron as the main echo. And finally, if you just want a damage dealer Mortefi, use the full Molten Rift set with the Infernal Rider as his main echo. The Infernal Rider increases basic attack damage and gives an increase to fusion damage. The full Molten Rift set increases fusion damage by 10% and adds plus 30% fusion damage for 15 seconds after releasing a resonant skill. When it comes to stats to be on the lookout for with Mortefi's Echoes, ideally you'll want his main 4 point Echo to have either Fusion Damage Bonus or Energy Regen. For 3 point Echoes, Crit Rate or Crit Damage along with Fusion Damage or Energy Regen works. And for his little 1 pointers, Attack Stats, just Flat Attack and Attack Percent. As far as leveling up your Mortefi, the way that you should prioritize abilities are Liberation Ultimate first, his Forte Circuit second, Resonance Skill third, Intro Skill fourth, and then his Basic Attack last. For weapons, I'm using the Cadenza Pistols, the purple 4-star weapons. They restore Concerto energy after a resident skill is released by 8, and they're working just fine for me because of the energy regeneration. However, the 5-star Static Mist has the ability to increase energy regen by 12.8% when an outro skill is released and increases the switched-in character's attack by 10%. In my opinion, this 5-star weapon seems to be specifically made for Mortefi. As for constellations or resonance chains they're called in this game, I like his second chain and his sixth chain the best. The second chain restores 10 resonance energy after using an echo skill, and the sixth chain increases your team's attack by 20% for 20 seconds after using his ultimate. The first chain is pretty good too. It adds off-field DPS after using Mortefe's ultimate by adding two of his Mercado fire attacks when your on-field character uses their resonance skill. When it comes to teams, Mortefi is good with basically any team you put him on as a sub DPS. He is literally Bennett and does nothing but benefit your team with buffs and off field damage. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this Mortefi quick build guide. If it was helpful to you, I'd really appreciate a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.